Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. This is Evie, Rainbow High, Doll Hall, Sunshine here today uh, with two of the dolls that I actually got for Christmas. So here are two. I have Harper Doom, which was gifted to me by my brother. And then I have Rain uh, Rainbow, Robin Sterling, who is gifted to me by my mom. Harper Doom was at Target. She was, I don't know, $19. I know she was under 20. And then Robin Sterling, who I've been wanting ever since this doll was released. I never found her at a good price. Was now found for $15 at a Missouri Walmart. So this is a Target girl. This is a Walmart girl. <laughs> Um, if you think the lighting is weird, it is. I got a new, um, I got a little new, um, what do they call it? Uh, camera stand and light and stuff. So I don't know how y'all going to feel about this, but, um, this is definitely a different little setup than I normally give. So forgive me if anything is off. Before we totally get started with this unboxing, I do want to tell you guys that um, I hope that you had the most wonderful of holidays. Um, I don't know if you see my little short that I came out with. Um, wish you the best of holidays. I hope everything was to your liking and that you got some rest and relaxation while you were in there. Uh, mine's was kind of opposite. I had a death in the family and... Um, just recently learned of one also this morning. So, uh, it's been a little rough for my family, but we are people who, um, you know, we don't let things stop us just like the normal person. Um, even though it is tragic and sad that we lose family members, um, you know, we have to live our best life for those that pass away that no longer get to wake up in the morning. That's why I'm doing this video today because the person that passed away would have wanted me to do that. And I've also been really busy. Um, one of my besties from middle school is in town. So yes, lots going on. And um, I guess that's pretty much all I have to say. I just hope all of you guys, Dolly Tribe, I hope y'all are well. Um, I hope just, you know, I just always hope the best for you guys. Pretty much, And I know I always say it every video, but I do have to check in with you guys and see how you're doing because I care about you guys. I'm going to start out with Harper Doom. She is one of the Rainbow High Pacific Coast girls. And then this is Harper Doom. She has like the Burberry theme. And um, she has a performance focus. It says it right there. And then here is the back of the box. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's hard for me to see what you guys can see because of this new setup I'm trying. <laughs> but here are all the folks in it. Um, I was truly only really interested in Phaedra Westward and Harper Doom. The other dolls are really pretty, but since they produce so many dolls, I do have to be particular on the ones that I want. So Harper Doom and Phaedra Westward were the only ones that I truly, truly wanted because of my budget. And um, these other girls, you know, they're very cute, uh, especially this one right here with the all white theme. I think she's pretty cute. And I like this girl as well. I've forgotten their name. Sorry. Um, so let's get into opening this lovely doll. Okay, everybody, I kind of have her out of the box, but not entirely. What I did want to show you is that with the doll stand here there are some extra feet okay um i think all the pacific coast dolls come with this their legs right here are interchangeable i probably won't be messing with it anytime soon i'll keep the bag and make sure i keep her feet her doll stand is just like a i don't know a little translucent beige or something i don't know how you call that translucent khaki some kind of weird color with sprinkles in it with glitters with glitters in it and it comes with all MGA's regular um, regular documents here 
you know, all of this. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you kind of what everything comes with. So, I will assemble the doll stand, get Harper Doom completely out. I'm going to tell y'all right now, I do not like the packaging for MGA. <laughs> Is it, you know, does it have... Does it ruin the clothing of the dolls most of the time? No, I don't. I think I've opened enough Rainbow High, at least in the first wave, to recognize that they don't believe in messing up a lot of the clothing and stuff that their dolls are in, like Mattel. But I still do not like the packaging. It's very sturdy, but as far as taking your dolls out and everything, it's rather aggravating. But I think all of the doll, you know, companies make it somewhat aggravating. But I just, I really don't see too many dolls where it's just easy to take the dolls out unless you're getting a truly kind of couture feeling doll like Integrity Toys. Is it somewhat easy to get the dolls out of the packaging? So that's just my, you know, take on everything. So I'll be back with her completely unboxed. Now I have this beauty. Um, I have her out of the, out of the box completely. This is Harper Doom from Rainbow High Pacific Coast. I'm sure you guys are really familiar with her already because this doll has been out for quite some time. So this is a stale review as I like to call it. But um, here is her comb. And so since we're taking a look at the little comb here, which also matches the stand, let it be known that she's going for the Burberry theme. And then for the comb, her hair is very crunchy. She has these little like crimpy waves in her hair. Um, she's giving me Beyonce. She's giving me Sarah Jessica Parker as far as the hair. Um, I'm not too familiar with Burberry, but you know, this definitely has the feel of it. This hat is cute, but I probably won't keep her in the hat. I probably will for a couple of weeks and then I'm going to take the hat off. Um, she has a cute like little swimsuit on and then you know girls wear a little wear their little jeans to the beach because they didn't want to just walk the whole way or you know spend a lot of time showing off everything you know so they cover it up with a little denim and then they pull their you know pull the stuff down and just walk around in their swimsuit because they're on the beach you know so there's that let me show you what she comes with she comes with a beach towel and it says Rainbow High, and it's still in that Rainbow Burberry theme right there. And then it's just printed on one side, terry cloth type of uh, material and surged on the ends. Um, the next thing she has here are her shades. These are her shades. And she looks really cute in them. Let me see if I can get them on now. See, she looks glam. She looks gorgeous. She looks just gorgeous. Uh-oh. Is there some kind of a thing that just keeps them? <laughs> wow, that was very difficult to take them back off. Jeez. And here is her little Burberry beach bag. And, um, you know, it's just a good little purse. Has a little piece of plastic in there, rigid plastic, to kind of keep it keep the bag shape and I'm probably not going to take that out for a while just let it stay in there and look wonderful okay so th these are the items that she comes with and the beach towel actually let me put it over here you might be able to see it better and let's get to look at the doll up close because that is what I pay attention to the most I like looking at dolls up close I just inspect them so here is the back of her hair. Very nice. It's going to need a little love because it's been in the box so long. This is an older doll. Okay. But it's a nice length and it's really crazy. And here is the hat. Um, how did they attach this in the back? Oh, they have little clippy, little tea tie things on it. But there is some hardware right there for the back of the hat. The top of the hat has a little button. And it looks like it says Rainbow High. So there's a little button that says Rainbow High on there. And the gold in this is very glittery. I don't know if it's picking it up on camera, the gold. And it is very glittery. 
Then we're going to go to her face. She has a very beautiful face. Um, if you can see um, on her left eye, which will be on the right of the screen, she has more makeup going down the corner of her eye than this side. I'm not going to worry about it too much. I do this with my makeup sometimes. It just is what it is. <laughs> um, but they, you know, they have little some little defects on her. She has a little paint splash probably right here or some kind of weird scratch or something. She does not have earrings. I don't know if she's supposed to come with any. I love her lip shade. This is one of my favorite lip shades to wear in real life. And um, over here, I also noticed that she has a little bit of smudging at the eye. But, you know, I'm not too mad about it. It doesn't really bother me. Her hair is probably going to cover it up. Here is her outfit. Very stretchy. It has Velcro. Sorry. Velcro in the back. It has Velcro right here on the little jean she's wearing. And then her bottoms, her uh, swim bottoms there look like they are um, elastic based very stretchy she has a little hardware right here which looks like it's made out of plastic this is rainbow high some faux buttons really cute and then down here she has some very strappy sandals and they're very cute and her little feet are adorable and look at how far she can bend back her leg I'm gonna show you you know that's almost made to move level, you know what I'm saying? So she has some good, some good um, movement. But I just wanted to give you a look at her. And then also she has a manicure. Looks a little bit gold or, yeah, it's gold. Gold fingernail polish. So she looks really cute. So this is Harper Dune, y'all. And now let's get to Miss Robin Sterling. All right, everybody, this is Robin Sterling. And as you can see, I definitely got her for 15 bucks. That's a good deal. Um, I don't know when she got it, but it was a good deal. Um, Robin Sterling, her box was like this because she's from the slumber party line. I think it was only three or four girls in that line. Robin, uh, the girl in pink, and then Marissa, I think, was the one with the boxing kind of theme. I still want her, but um, I'm, I just haven't gotten her yet. So, here's Robin Sterling. She comes with a sleeper bag and a pillow and then an alternate, you know, just sleepwear outfit. And some cute little fuzzy slipper thingies right there. This is how the box was. And my box is definitely beat up. Um, my mom said it was like that in the store. But here go the girls in the line. It says, meet the leaders of the super secret sleepover society at Rainbow High. They're all about spa days, hot gossip, and total relaxation. Girls, I do not blame y'all. I think that's great. Everybody should focus on total relaxation and spa days, okay? And, uh, you know, occasionally some gossip. Um, I love her little theme. That's very cute. Marissa's is very cute. And Robin's. Um, I think I'm more of a this kind of girl when it comes to sleeping and stuff and then this is my second one but i definitely wear something like this if i feel fancy enough but i like robin's look okay i definitely like robin's look so i am going to get robin out of the box now and we shall go from there dolly try um i got robin and all her things out of the box and as such i would like to um start with some of the accessories she's got so, you know, with the older Rainbow High dolls, they came with these, um, with the, you know, some of the first um, different lines and waves of the Rainbow High doll. They had these um, hangers. And um, I'm not really sure if the newer ones have them because I haven't bought any of the newer ones and I haven't looked at too many um, reviews of them. But these ones I know came with hangers. So, these two are kind of Robin, you know robin egg colored you know accessories sorry <laughs> and this reminds me of toothpaste i'm sorry it does um this is robin's comb that always comes with the dolls 
And next, I want to take a look at one of her, well, her alternate outfit. This is also a pajama type of outfit. It's really, really cute. It's really well made. Um, this one is has an elastic waist with a ribbon. It's really cute. Feels like um, some kind of satin, satin type of deal. And then um, this is, you know, cotton. And it's, you know, just a little blouse. It's a little cute blouse. And it does have Velcro in the back for this blouse. So this is really cute. I really like this alternate outfit here. So I'm going to put that in the background. Hopefully you can still kind of see it. Um, the next thing with that outfit are these shoes. Sorry for my trembling hands, but they have a white little bottom and they're, you know, Robin's color and they're fuzzy. They have a little flocking of some kind on them to make them fuzzy. So these two are her alternate pair of shoes. Now this is her sleeping bag. Okay. Oh, it's, it's, it's really cute. You know, it's just like a sleeping bag, like when you go over to someone's house and spend the night. We've all been able to do that, at least most of us. Um, If you haven't, no big deal. Um, You know, not missing out on too, too much. This has a little rainbow high on the zipper, and the zipper, um, the zipper does move, you know, up and down. Um, it's really cute. Um, here's a little tea tie right here. I'm probably not going to mess with it though, not too soon. It has like a Tiffany's feeling to it as well. Um, this part right here really feels like the whole breakfast at Tiffany's. The Tiffany's uh, jeweler, you know, very fine jeweler. Um, there's the little rainbow high right there. And then in the inside, that's what it's like. It's like, you know, like Tiffany's with the jewels and um, Chanel perfume looks like it's being referenced. Rainbow high does a lot of that um, referencing designers and uh, different brands and different um, organizations and things on their uh, doll clothing. So here's the back. And then here is the pillow that reminds me of Tiffany's as well with the color, the coloring on it, and then the white, you know, ribbon going across like it's a gift box that's holding some very expensive jewels. <laughs> um, so there's the pillow that references that as well. Now let's get into Miss Robin herself. Oh my God, I fell in love with this doll when I first saw her. Um, when I saw the official images, I was like, ooh, I have got to get this doll. And I still want the Robin Sterling, the costume ball, Robin Sterling. Ooh, she's just so pretty to me. Um, I love her and I love her sister. Those two are, I have to say that they are my favorites. Now, I like Daria Ro Roslin and I still like Sunny, uh, Sunny Madison. I still like those dolls very much and Karma Nichols. Those are some of my top Rainbow High dolls. I'm sorry if they're not yours, but they are definitely mine. So the Sterling girls have reached the top of my list and Daria is third. And then we probably have Karma, because I did like Karma when she came out. Um, I do like her more than Sunny. I might not have said it at the time, but I've bonded with Karma a lot more than Sunny these days, <laughs> which is really sad. Um, but it's true. First wave Sunny is just not it for me anymore. Um, I haven't I want to get the cheer Sunny, and I also want to get the um the winter, what was it, winter resort or something, Sunny. I want to get both of those. Um Cause I like those better. They're made kind of like the, you know, the newer dolls are made. So that's why I want those Sunnies. But Sunny is not on my favorites anymore. <laughs> She's not the top favorite anymore. Can you guys imagine that? A yellow themed doll and I don't like her. Uh, I don't like her as much. I still love Sunny though. Don't get me wrong. I love my Sunny Madison, but I just love the Sterling girls have hit the top for me. They really have. But um, so here's Robin. Let me just get into her. So she has these cute little bunny slippers on. They're uh, so adorable. And then she has like the cutest little socks with the lace trim and the ribbons. And um, her nails are painted like, um, you know, to match the color. They always have something that matches what they're wearing. And then she has this cute little robe. It's just adorable, isn't it? It's super adorable, super duper adorable. And then she looks like she has on a little nighty 
that matches the inside of here. So it's going to have jewels and perfumes and all those little nice wondrous things that are a lot of women's favorite things to have. <laughs> uh, so she has that going for her. She has this nice little cute white ribbon right there. Let's look at her from the back. Um, let me move her here. So this is, is sheer. Excuse me, so you can kind of see her nighty. I'm going to eventually show you that, but I just want to show you the presentation of this doll. It's just beautiful. Like, her style is beautiful. This is not my main style in real life, but when I think about a doll and how it's all put together, this is the one I like the most out of the line. Um, even if it was on a different doll, I would still, in a different color, I'd probably still be like, ooh, like, I love this. Uh, I would have preferred it to be a purple or yellow doll, but hey, we can't always get what we want. <laughs> uh, but I do, I do love this. I think it is actually better suited for a color like this or pink or something like that rather than yellow or purple, you know, but maybe it could have been like a lavender, you know, something like that. Um, here's her little sleep mask, her eye mask. Uh, every once in a while I wear one of these like this to sleep, um, most of the time, I just forget to put it on, but I do like to wear those to sleep when I can. Um, and I often wear them when I have migraines, too. So here is, um, I was about to call her Sunny. Here is Robin's <laughs> beautiful face. Oh, I just love this face. I don't know if you guys can see it because I'm kind of funny in the camera here, but she has the cutest face. There's a little um, glue or, or glitter um that's just miss put on her uh, maybe this is why she was cheap <laughs> cheaper than normal oh there's her baby hairs oh see i've never felt a doll with the with the molded baby hairs i don't think i could be wrong <laughs> i do have carmen major so maybe she has them and i just forgot um her baby hairs are are done fairly well they match with the molding so i'm not going to complain i also like her lip color is very similar to harper dunes there um she has a pretty eye color um i love her makeup scheme she does have some little problematic deals here but most of all it kind of matches on both sides at least and there's no smudging on this one at the corner of the outer corner of the eye like with harper and um she has these cute pearl earrings on cute pearl earrings and she has a ponytail up on her head here with her pretty hair and let me feel it it doesn't have too much product in this one it has it kind of at the back of the ponytail which is weird like underneath there's a lot of product but on the outer part of this doll her her um, ponytail is fairly soft Oh, she's just so beautiful, you guys. I really, really like her. I knew I was just going to enjoy this doll so much when I got her. I didn't know when that would be, but I know that whenever I got her, you know, there's always the doll that maybe you can't get. Maybe a grill doll for some of y'all that's balling out of control. But for me, it was just a regular, you know, $50 doll <laughs> that, um, you know, I had kept my eye on for so long. And then when you finally get the doll, sometimes it doesn't live up to it. I'm going to tell you for the first few minutes of looking at this doll, like I like she lives up to the hype. She lives up to what I thought she was going to be. And I'm very, very happy. About oh, excuse me. <laughs> um, I am very happy that she lives up to what I would like. So let me go ahead and take her robe off. I'm not going to put her in her second outfit because I believe the most of you guys that do like uh, Rainbow High have already seen, you know, what what it all looks like and actually with with um keep on to call her sunny with robin she has on like the little underneath here the ribbons are tied up to this and i just don't want to deal with it right now <laughs> so forgive me you guys i'm i'm really being lazy on that account but um you see her little shorts these are really cute i thought it was just a nighty see what happens when you inspect things more which I will off camera anyway, even if I felt like I've like told you guys about everything. I'm probably going to look be staring at this doll for a little bit while longer after I get through filming. But um, there's a cute little top that she has on that goes there. And then um, it has a lace trim there at the neckline. And then right here, I don't know if you guys can see that very well. Oh, I wish I could bring the light closer down. But 
she has on a necklace and it has a little heart and it says RH for Rainbow High and it's just so cute. But all in all, um, I have a little few things to get off of her face with some acetone um, just so that it won't, you know, I have a few things to get off of her. And here, let me bring back up Harper Doom. So these are two of the dolls that I got for uh, Christmas, Harper Doom, and I also got Robin Sterling. These dolls are absolutely adorable. I love them. I think they are great. Um, I've felt like I've bonded with both of the dolls. So I just, I just love them. And I hope if you guys have them, that you love them too. Or if you have some different dolls, because Rainbow High has a very wide selection of very beautiful dolls. Um, I wish I could get all of them, but I cannot. So if you like the video, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And thank you for dipping in the domosphere with me. And do -o 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 -o, forget to keep the sunshine in your life. <laughs> okay, you guys. Um, thanks so much for watching. Be safe and many blessings. Bye bye.